everyone, this is Levana here. Welcome to my stream. So, today, uh, unfortunately, I didn't finish my homework on Saturday. Um, and I it's due tonight. Well, tomorrow morning, technically. Um, but I, um, it just, I have to finish it. Do I have it? I do. Right. Um... Yeah, so unfortunately, it's just that I have to finish it a little bit. Just give me an hour or so to finish the thing. Because if I didn't do it on stream, or like... I just came back to the dorm, actually, uh, 10 minutes ago. And finished everything. You know. And I, I just have to, like... Give myself time, give my, like, you know, if I didn't do it on stream or like someone didn't watch over me and then if I, um, you know, like just laying back off, like I, I think, oh, I have like a few minutes, I have like an hour away from my homework or like I have like four hours away from 10 o'clock ish, I'm not going to do it immediately and I know that I want to stream today and so the best way to do it, it's doing my homework on stream although I am not showing you the pages because the page is going to reveal my identity and the professor and whatever, right? So what I would do is that I would do it now, just give me an hour because I know I'm going to finish it within an hour. That's, I had a rough draft already, I just need a final draft. So just give me an hour. And yeah, it's Sunday. All yes, today's Sunday. All of the domains uh, will be avail uh, available today. Hi, uh, Kai. Kai. Hi, how are you? I XV. I don't know if that that stands for fifteen or just uh, for Roman numeral or like that's anything else. So thank you so much. Um, so just just give me an hour or so um, to let me finish my homework, and I'll go to Genshin and do the new event. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. It's like 15, like the XV. I'm just wondering, is it 15? So it is 15. So Kai 15. Hi, how are you? Um, so just give me an hour and then I'll go to Genshin and do whatever I want. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, and then I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll talk with the process. Um, I'll kind of say the process of like what I'm doing anyway. So I don't think it will be, um, no, I'm going to do the event first and then farming. Thank you. Um, and then, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll go through the process of my work, but like, I'm not showing you what I'm writing exactly. So that's that. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me eat this. I have my grape like right next to my mouth for the longest time. And I haven't eaten it yet. So just give me a moment. The event is really long. I don't mind that. I would love that. Before that, I actually finished the first part of the event, so I'm doing the second part, last stream. Uh, last stream I did the first part, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just get my phone ready. There we go. Okay, I'm eating stuff. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need snack. Um... Uh, I, I think I'm gonna delete this line. This line doesn't make sense. Let me let me highlight it and then um there we go. Let me highlight this line a bit because I don't know if that line makes sense right now. See, if I'm still doing my homework and then it, it just not great, unfortunately, most of the time. Okay, I think I'm gonna delete it. This line doesn't make sense. This line doesn't, so I'm just gonna delete it. Right, um... Uh... Okay, I'm still stuck on the intros a bit. Um, just see. Friends, what else? Uh, 
about I need like at least two pages of this and then I could make it work. That I remember was I was nine. It was a trip to you. I was trying to remember. Oh, speaking of that, and that was a horrible experience. But anyway. itself is like a is nothing what was important what was the trouble wait no what was the what was important what was important was Right to the temporary home, temporarily home. It, it was my. I don't understand. Is there any anything wrong with the? The keyboard right now because I the I the 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 the, the I key was like keep either I could I missed it or like I double tab it sometimes. I don't understand it. <laughs> It was weird. Uh, let me just eat some more stuff. I need some sugar. Uh huh. And the bathroom. There we go. Hello, Jane. Hello. I just barely started. <laughs> just give me an hour and I'll finish it, okay? Just this is the first part um, because I need someone to push me and stream is a really good way of doing it. Oh. I need to change the date and then the title of the homework as well. Wait, nope. Today is the 15th. I'll make it the 10th. <laughs> that sounds much nicer. Oh, you know what? I'll make it 13. That's fine. Um. She knows I'm not there anyway. Uh, and then this is the final draft. Final draft of essay number two. Right. <laughs> 
right, right. I have to add more intros. I the first and second paragraphs are nothing, and then I has I still need a conclusion for this. So yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know if I should ask that many detail. Um. Okay. I hate this about Google is that I was originally typing the word um, and it says it was wrong and when I change everything it changed back it, it, said, it indicated it was wrong, wrong again and then changed back to my original typing I was like oh okay <laughs> I think that period over there is fine. Oh, uh, let me get some grape again. Um. Done. Period. Um, I can. I'm, I'm, I could definitely go on for it. This is like nothing. Uh, done. I kind of need more about the intro. The intro is way too short. Um, what's uh? Okay. Yeah. I also need page number. <laughs> I don't think my teacher cares about format, though. I don't think so. Um, let me go get here. Let me see. Okay. Cool.
I don't know if it add, should add the thing. I don't think it's important. No, I don't think this is important. No, I don't. I, I'm gonna delete the whole thing. No! <laughs> oh my god, I just wrote nothing. In What's, uh, what is important? What's the right? No, um, what's important? What's the. Yeah, I'm writing a paper. <laughs> I'm I'm writing a paper. So I was like writing stuff, and then I realized the whole thing didn't connect, and then I just have to delete the whole thing. That's fine. I, it always happened, but like I think an hour, and then I can finish it. I think an hour and a half probably drag it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and, and now you can see me struggle with like how much like the writing I had because sometimes I just ramble stuff, and then when I proofread it, I was like, this doesn't make sense. I shouldn't add this. This is no. This is not the right thing, right? And so you can see how much I like ramble and then come back and delete most of what I wrote. <laughs> so yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The essay, the paper was actually a um, kind of a self-reflective paper. Now I could like um, stop and, s and think about myself while I'm writing. Exactly. <laughs> what was nice about this essay, or like what was nice about this paper, is that this is not a, a research paper that I have to do. It's more of a literacy paper. So it's like this topic is what I have chosen. It was like, no, not the, no. The topic wasn't chosen. The topic was assigned. But like, I could r write whatever I want about the topic, right? And so, technically speaking, the topic is about me, which is like myself and how I go through things, right? And so, like, a lot of times I have to remember what I've done. And then think, how could I write it on paper? Because my logic, my brain is going on probably processing multiple languages. <laughs> Most of the times. Like yesterday. Oh my god, yesterday was bad. Oh god. Remember before like Friday or so, um, I think I said it that I'm going to New York City 
with my friends, and she had a project to do in New York City, like something like that. Um, Oh, I can't say that. Um, I can. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Uh, right, right. Sorry. Um, sorry, I, I can't write that. No, that's not right. Pre preparing? Pre preparing my backpack. I'm preparing. I was preparing. See, there we go. That's one of them. <laughs> School. Oh, period. Yes, so what was the project was that my friend has to do something at least. I, I don't know what it is, but like she had to do something and then write something about the Brooklyn Bridge. And if people doesn't know it, Brooklyn Bridge is a bridge that connects Manhattan and Brooklyn in New York City. New York City, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, and it's raining on Saturday, really hard, really bad rain. Um, I was wearing a raincoat. She is carrying an umbrella, and we just walked on the bridge, like back and forth for like two times, for about an hour or so. I think we spending on the bridge. She was like recording. I was helping her with her umbrellas, everything. And it was great. I like it. Um, it's my first time walking on the Brooklyn Bridge as well. It was really good. Um, I like that. There's a lot of people with us. I mean, the, like, there's a lot of people walking on the bridge anyway. And it was just, I never been to Brooklyn Bridge. I never been there. And then when we walk back, the rain, all, all of a sudden the rain got, got harder. Like, it's got more, you know, it just got harder. Uh, as well and then it's really windy the temperature was cold and <laughs> it was funny is that although i'm wearing a raincoat the raincoat is only going like a little below to my kneecap i also have a like a rain boot on like a waterproof boot on and the really funny thing is that i felt warm in general but my leg felt really cold and I figured out why. The whole pants. My whole pant got wet. And one of my shoes is leaked. Like there's water leaking in. And so one of my shoes was wet. The sock was wet. The pant was wet. And then part of my pants was wet. And thankfully we went to the Brooklyn Bridge is right next to Chinatown. Thankfully that was like the case. And... We were, like, immediately going to the restaurant, like, having some food, having some hot, warm food. And I was like, okay, so we're done with your Brooklyn Bridge. Do you want to go anywhere else? <laughs> to my friend, right? And we were like, it's raining outside. Where can we go? That's like, there's no rain. There is nothing with us, right? I, I just want something that's like chill, you know, within indoors. And we decided to go to Chelsea Market because she really wants to see the market, how it look like and everything. And so we went there, thankfully. And oh, God, she is a really uh, not annoying, but like. She couldn't decide anything. I was like, okay. At the end, of, like a after we ate dinner in Chelsea Market, she was like, I want to buy something as a souvenir, right? 
because it's a bit hard for us to go to New York. It's a two-hour ride for train, train two-hour ride train, and so it was a little bit far for us. Yeah, the wet clothes. Everything was fun until the end of the day when he like. Well, I wasn't having fun, but like she was. Um, she couldn't decide. That's the thing she has. Um, and then she also, uh, you know, had some problems. But like, <laughs> and so she, we went to this bookstore or like some su souvenir shop that sells book and also other stuff, right? And she's like, keep wandering around that couldn't decide what to get in that shop. I mean, there's multiple shops, but she, she liked that one particular, right? Um, I was like, okay, girl, are you done? <laughs> like, she just wandered in that shop for like two and a half hour from five o'clock and then waste our time till seven o'clock. <laughs> I was like, girl, are you okay? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Oh my god. The worst part was that part. That's the only part that was like a little a little annoying, I would say, but like I mean, okay, sure, whatever. From five o'clock, just wander in that shop till seven o'clock. And then I was like, okay, you know what? Within the next five minutes, if you can't decide anything, I'm gonna go. <laughs> And you're gonna keep here because Chelsea Market is about to close. Chelsea closed at nine, I would say, eight thirty, I think. Most of the shop closed at seven. And I was like, "You, you need to, you need to wrap yourself up because I'm going." Okay. And finally, she decided to get some. She didn't get something anyway. I don't think she got anything. No, no, she didn't get anything. Like, <laughs> I was like. You know what? We we need to go. We need to get. We need to catch our train because the train is um, every hour. There's a train, and then I don't want to go because it's a two hour ride, right? So seven o'clock till you know anything. So finally, I got to the train station at seven thirty. So thankfully, the train was on time, and so I got caught on the train. She could uh, uh, her train was straight. Which means that she doesn't have to transfer. I have to transfer in the middle. And so I got off. She, I'm, I'm just tell her, if you go home, if you went, got home, please give me a call, right? Because we live in two areas. And so I got into transfers. <laughs> By then, at night, the rain has already stopped. So that's great. That's great news. I got transfer. I got onto transfer. And then I realized... That my train was late. It was originally at eight o'clock. The train was supposed like the up the next train that I'm supposed to hop onto during the middle uh, was supposed to come in at eight o'clock. The one that uh go to the same direction but different stops has is also there when I got there because they run at eight o'clock five seven forty five. They're supposed to go at seven forty five. So the one that go to my home was like going at eight o'clock, right? And so I was like, okay, why is that train still there? That's that doesn't make sense, right? I was looking at my phone because I had the schedule on my phone, and it just delayed for thirty minutes, and I got home at ten o'clock. I was like, okay, sure, <laughs> that was fun. That's you know what happened actually. I realized I looked back the news afterwards. All of the train that, you know, go uh, Amtrak and then New Jersey Transit, which, okay, I'm not exposing. Whatever transit gets called. Amtrak and then the state tra uh, um, transit was having electrical issues so that all of the trains after 7.55 are no longer working. I was lucky. I was really lucky because if I was just letting my friend stuck there for another half an hour, I wouldn't able to go back home. <laughs> that's how insane this is. Like, that's insane. No, eight, five, yeah. So, like, I was, I, I was surprised. And when I go home and check the news, I was like, 
oh god that would be awful that would be really awful that would happening it was bad so i was lucky thankfully that i got to go home at 10 o'clock I should have told her that I need to take two hour train. She she only took an hour and a half. Um, we live different places, but like we're really close friends. And I was like, great, having fun. <laughs> Not really. I have to. Uh, the the worst thing is that I have to transfer. She doesn't. I have to transfer. So that's the worst thing I I've been going through. But yeah. <sighs> and transfer for train is not the best thing especially where i live the station that where i live doesn't have any lights like it's dark it's gloomy i don't like it it's good in the morning but like not good at night the night then at oh god at the night the train station during the nights the train station looked like a haunted place it was so dark <laughs> and there's like a lot of cars <laughs> a lot I almost couldn't get off because um, the door was shut during on the train. I almost couldn't get off. I was like, oh, okay, this is weird. Yeah, a little bad. Um, No, I don't understand anything. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I was told. Oh, uh, what? Okay, what was told? What was. What I supposed to do? What I supposed to do? Yeah. And where is everything located? Oh, really funny things. Oh my god. Um so I'm currently writing an essay about like hero's journey or like how how did I go through like different stuff, like go through a challenges or anything so what i've been writing around about is like how i would say like how did i come up no the difficulty that i have to go through about coming to us right so that was what i'm writing <laughs> or like the first time like the um like why my my why my why my face like that wait a second why is my face like that? That was weird. Let me let me get my hair done a little bit. Um, my hair was really sloppy. Um, so it was about like how the first school I attended in the U.S. when I was ten, um, nine, ten ish, I think. Um, like how did I go through it? Like about the first day, <laughs> or like the process of going to school back then in days because I don't speak English when I first came to school US um, I don't speak anything uh, the only thing I could say is yes and no and how are you <laughs> or like how, how hello or anything like that like, like those things like simple English so oh god that won't work um So now I'm thinking back of it. It was a horrible. There's an experience I've been through. I was like, um, so it was like f first or like, f it's not the first day of school. No, it's not. It was like, 
first during the first week of school, right? And then I was having a bladder issues. <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, I think it was the first day. Oh, it probably was the first day. Oh my. Yeah, it's probably the first day. And then I, you know, I, I, I need to run to the bathroom, right? And I couldn't find a bathroom. <laughs> I, I don't speak English. There, there was no sign. Actually, there was no sign on the bathroom saying that this is a bathroom. The only thing I found was a boy's bathroom. And then I think to myself, oh, and then I asked the teacher in the hallways asking, like, where is the bathroom? Right, and she pointed, you know, straight down to the hallway. You will see it straight down to the hallway. I walked down the hallway multiple times. I couldn't find it. <laughs> I'm blind, by the way. Like, I'm not blind, blind, but like I'm pretty blind <laughs> on things, like really badly. Um, and yeah, I was having so much trouble. After like ten minutes or so walking like back and forth in the hallway, I finally found it. It was just right next to it. And I was like, okay, sure. <laughs> it was fun. It wasn't fun. The first year I was in the US, it wasn't fun. It was horrible. Thankfully, I don't understand what was being said or what was I'm saying. Anything. Like, thank you so much. That I don't understand it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how to, how to write that down. No. You know what? Just skip that paragraph right now. Um, okay. The conclusion sucks. I, I only wrote a line for the conclusion because I need to write a rough draft in the middle of the night so <laughs> thankfully the peer professor doesn't read the um outline a bit Why is that not capitalized?
It's not called semester in middle school, right? It's called a year, right?
Okay. Um. The door is not visible at all. Jesus, it was right next to the intersection. Um, but I couldn't find it, and the door was really small. Anyway, so that was that. that was the first conflict language. See, there's definitely something wrong about my keyboard. Let me add some water. Let me, let me make that a separate line so that I am I don't have to worry about that. Um uh... Oh, I know what to write during the intros. Oh, God. This sentence sounds bullshit. <laughs> really, it does. I don't know what to do with it, though. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's see. I don't like it. I don't like this sentence at all.
I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so the intro is done. I need a u. I couldn't use a period. I need to use a. This. Just see my message came out a bit more. Uh, Improve. Oh, that was also the time when I uh, watch anime. <laughs> she came to the US, which is funny because anime was in Japanese. And why would I watch Japanese? Like, what? Well, you know, like that. <laughs> It's just weird. I think I want to have a second paragraph. This paragraph is way too long. Like, way, way too long. Hello! Oh, Mr. 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 How are you? Good morning, good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worry. I am doing my homework. No worry. Good morning. Let me get my grapes up a bit more. There we go. It's way too long. I don't like it. Okay, that's done. Okay, then I can start a whole paragraph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a, that's a good one, I think. I, I think that's a, that's a pretty good one. I, I have to stop there. Wait a second. Okay. 
going to copy this, delete this. There we go, that's more like it. Another school year began. Cheerio. I could delete this line now. I don't like the... Now that I think of it, I don't like the conclusion line. <laughs> I'll change it. Um, Hope that this isn't a long... Another school year began. I forgot the year. That's when you always have to proofread. You really need to proofread because if you just write something and you submit it, you have no idea what you wrote. I had that problem with my email, my my email with the professor. Now I'm reading back because I was in a hurry and I was anxious a little bit. And I just submitted it. With that proofreading, now I'm reading back of it. I have no idea what I wrote. Oh my! Thankfully, the teacher, the professor knows what I'm writing. Like, thank you, <laughs> because now I'm now, now I'm looking at looking back. I was like, what did I wrote? Like, it doesn't make sense. The grammar is off, and it's just nothing. Oh my
Okay. Let's see. Let me think. <laughs> Wait a second. Now nah, I'm stopped. Uh... Uh, my body hurts. <laughs> my body really hurts. Why is my... Oh, God. There we go. Why is like that? I don't understand it. I did not even press them. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, thankfully, I have my phone open up. Or else I would have no idea what's going on. I think this is done. I'm gonna stop for a bit. Ooh, thank you for following Angie Earth C channel, I assume. Ha oh Ethan, not Earth. I'm so sorry. Sorry I uh mispronounced your name. Um I think this is done. I'm gonna work on it after this. Should I I I kind of don't wanna work on it. Oh my god. This is annoying now. This this thing is giving me an annoying vibe. Oh my god. Let me just give me a sentence more. Um I'm just gonna wrote few more sentences and I'm good to go. Right? No, I still have a conclusion I need to work on. Oh, I want to play. I want to play as soon as possible. Anyway, um, just wait for a minute. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, how can I do a transition here? Because that's my conflict up here. And then now I'm doing... Okay, so I'm doing better. Okay. Hi, uh, Jake... Fire? Hi, how are ya? Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna be silenced a lot after this, I'm just telling ya. Because I'm thinking, I need to write. Oh, thank you for the follow! Thank you, thank you. So just give me a couple more minutes, because I'm still working on my homework, unfortunately. And I'll be working on Genshin really, really soon. Okay? Give me a minute. I'm so sorry about it. Because if I don't, if I don't work it on stream, I will lay this back forever, and it's due today. <laughs> so, just give me two minutes, and I'll finish it, okay? Well, two minutes. No, um, 30 minutes or so. So, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I'm almost done. Really, I just need a conclusion. That's it. <laughs> I just need a conclusion. I'm good to go. I mean, second paragraph is not really working, so uh, it's not really convincing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. I'm just working on a conclusion first. Um. With me, Let's see. Let me think. Um, to a new environment was never easy till this day. So, no. Wait, wait, Livana's in school. Are you in high school or middle? College. College school. College student. Uh, this is an essay that I need to submit it tonight through online. So, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the thing with me is that if there's no one watching me or like no one's pushing me i would wander around on the internet like i would write down two sentences and then i'll wander off to watch something else someone's wait a second uh okay yeah that's a bad habit right so that's why i mean if it's like short assignments i'll be great i'll, I'll be finished it within three hours short assignment just one page assignment i'll finish it within an hour but like 
and then I know that I really, really want to stream Genshin today. Um, and so if I don't do it like within an hour or an hour and a half, I know that I cannot stream Genshin because if I do it with my own pace, and so if I do it on stream right now, I know I have to focus on this particular thing and then I could move on as quickly as possible. So, I th how, how long did I stream? An hour. So I'm almost done, actually. <laughs> like, that's a lot of progress. Like, because someone's watching me or like, I know that not someone, I, I no, I don't think it's someone's watching me. But it's like, I feel the pressure that I need to do it as quick as possible because I don't want the stream to be boring. So... You know, it's a good motivation I have, actually. <laughs> so I'll probably do more in the future. Just, like, give me... I think I... Yeah, just give me 30 minutes or so. To, I'll be like, okay, this is done. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I... <laughs> uh, oh, you got a hotel? That's great. I Oh, God. I love her design. But unfortunately, I'm not really used to her fighting style yet. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have her. I do have her. <gasps> um. Why does this not capitalize? I'm so sorry. Uh. No, I don't like it. I don't like the sentences at all. Oh, only, only just got. Then I only just got to be able to see the chasm quest. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the chasm is annoying though. I will work even harder. Yeah, that's it. That is. That is. Um. That's it. No, I don't like it. Wait a second. I don't like that. Oh. Let's see. And then delete that. And the first all I ever made one the first pull of that account I got Chi Chi. Oh, oh that's great. Wow. That's three character. Oh my, but you lose to Chi Chi though. Oof. No, the first pull, first temple? Oh wow, that's really lucky. That's really, really lucky. I think that's the end of conclusion. We just let me just get more on the second paragraph, and then I'll get handed in. <sighs> uh, oh God, the second paragraph's annoying. Um, wow, that's great! Oh my. Okay, let's see. Let's see.
Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Alrighty, I'm done. Thank you, thank you for the wait. I am finally done. And I, f I think, did I submit it? Wait a second. Why is the, oh, wait. There we go. Wait a second. Let me just, did I, okay, everything's done. Yay, yay, yay. So I finished it, yay. So now it's Genshin. Finally, I, although I have to submit it first. Wait a second. <laughs> uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm done. Okay, I submitted it. Cool. 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 Wait. Why does why does it overdo? Wait a second. This is done. Yeah, that's done. All right. It says it was overdue. I, it's not. Um. Yay! The stream is froze? Shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't be. Because my, my, my... Okay, yeah, I don't think so. Anyway, yay! Homework is done. How fun. What is my region? Uh, North America server, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Finally, I finished my work. How fun is that? Let me just eat more grapes. <laughs> uh. Mm-hmm. And I... Oh! I have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we we'll have to wait for tomorrow's, but that's okay. Yeah, and then what is this? All oh, right, I love all of these events. This mini event was really cute. Like all of these events was really cute. I quite like it. I have to wait for nine hours to unlock it. Oh god. The only thing I don't like about these type of events is that I need to wait a really long time until like it finally allows me to play it. <laughs> what what do you need help with? What? Let me just move the time. Wait a second, there's a mail. Oh. Okay. Time, time, time. Tomorrow at 8, right? There we go. Bosses? Uh, afterwards. How about that? Afterwards. I'll join you afterwards. What boss? There's a few boss I don't like. So, just I, I just have to know what boss it is. There we go. Curious what Chung Yun saw the other day. Me too. I'm just gonna run around it. There's a few bosses I don't like to fight, at least. So just let me know what boss it is it and I'll I'll figure out like could I help you with it? You know, like because there is some that I really hate. <laughs> so yeah. It's not the weekly, right? It's just like normal ordinary bosses, right? There we go. If you are a beginner, that's probably also not the hard boss, right? Primo and Ocean. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Ocean 8's fine. Yeah, yeah, I could do with Ocean 8. Yeah. And then the Primo Geo ship. What's that? 
Okay, one more thing I have to tell you guys. Um, I did not play the game in English. Um, although the subtitle will be English, but like, um, so a lot of bosses name I need to figure out what is it. Is it where is that? Um, I knew if I were what is that? What what that is? Wait a second. Primo Geo. It's a rock and leave. Oh, that one. Ajdaha, right? No, I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna change. Oh, oh, the mini boss, not the weekly. So, oh, this one, right? This one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. I could do with it. Um, yeah. That one's an easy one, actually. You just need shield. I could have Jolie give it to you. Wait a second. Where, where is the event? Oh wait, the event is not in. No, I need to teleport it. The event is, <laughs> the event is in Stone Gate. <laughs> I totally forgot. I was. I, I thought the 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 event was like in Levia City. No, uh, Levia Harbor. No, it was in. It was in. It was in. It was in Stone Gate. I'm so sorry. This heavy rain must be quite an inconvenience for you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, where is it? <laughs> Level six that's good. Level sixty central is good. But that's not helpful with Ocean Eight. <laughs> like my party setup right now is not really good for Ocean Eight either, technically speaking. But Settle down. Sorry. I, see everything. I need that. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Ah, the Shinsho's really good, warm. though. Shinsho's really good for beginners. Oh, level 50 Huta. That's great. Let's see. Everyone is here. I want to figure out where that Ocean A is. Like the blue Ocean A. I couldn't find her. Wait a second. Where is she? I couldn't find the blue ocean. I couldn't. The sun is shining bright today. <laughs> as soon as that leaf floats past Stonegate, we shall reveal today's poetry theme. Mm -hmm. The theme of the second day of the neighboring nation's congenial poetry gala is pairing couplets. Okay, I need to put this in auto. <laughs> pairing couplets. Oh, I've heard of that. It's a Liyue art form where you have to create new lines of poetry. There's so many tools. um in their thought with. <laughs> Noel and Mika. Poetry. Heaven and earth, rain and wind, the endless sky in the boundless land, a forest boars and ocean shrimp, lavender melons and matsutake shrooms. Okay. On a given line of poetry, you must create the second line to form a pair or couplet. As long as you take inspiration from the wide world around you, you'll find it's not so difficult after all. The two lines should it's be near Ching Chingsa Village. Each other both semantically and rhythmically. Mm -hmm. In essence, it's just like most other forms of poetry. To bully your imaginations and allow the winds of inspiration to fill your sails, we've added. Yeah, yeah, I know where the ocean is. Yeah, yeah, I know the ocean is. I know exactly where the ocean is. But like, there's an NPC here that's like definitely a. Uh, Oceanate that transform into a human. Okay. So that's why I was like looking for it during the NPC. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it this time. Using the vision. Yeah, she's not here. She's not in the NPC list right now. So, what I meant by Ocean 8 that transfer in human is that during the, um, 3.8 summer event, we meet a Ocean 8 that transfer into a human being. Okay? Like, legit. And so, I, the first part of the 
event, which is two days ago, we I I realized one of the NPC has the exact shade of blue hair and blue eyes, a shining blue eye that was exactly the same as the Ocean 8 we met in, back in 3.8. So that's why exactly I said there was an ocean in here within the NPC. Besides, investigating any strange occurrences near Mondstadt and making a report to the Knights of Avonius is also part of our job. I don't mind either, because while we're out, I can look for new cocktail ingredients too. <laughs> Just think of it like an outing with friends. It'll be fun. The way I see it, you should just humbly accept their willingness to help. All right. In that case, thank you all very much. I will be sure to repay your kindness someday. Now, how about we split into two groups for the day? Uh, you mean to cover more ground? Not just that. Don't forget, this is still part of the poetry gala. If we all see the same sights and sounds during our inspiration walk, how can we write unique poems? That's true. But how do we decide who goes in which group? Okay. Does what? Do you know something? <laughs> That'll make things even more fun. Drawing lots? But what if I end up with oh. the <laughs> Oh no. Soon. I've got the slips of paper here. Who wants to go first? Oh, me. I know. I know wants to go first. Oh, there's something in my throat. No, oh, no. Okay. So that's the Traveler, Paimon, Diona, and Chongyun in one group, mm -hmm. and Singcho, Mika, and Noel in the other. Okay. What a relief. Uh, at least I'll have Noel with me. Then I humbly place myself at your instruction. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I don't think... Uh, th that won't be... I also await your guidance. Yep. Take care, everyone. See you all tonight. Tonight? I thought it was evening. Okay. Did anyone anyway. to bring anything? If not, then let's get going. Then Wow. Are those ears and tail real? So There's so many oh. in the thoughts. Oh my. Miss Diona, is there some place in particular you would like to go? Just call me Diona. Since we're trying to find that thing you saw, why don't we start with the place you saw it last time? Okay. Captain. Hey, Quit messing around. Ooh, shall. This way. Oh, that was far. Okay. Let me switch to uh, Nuvolet first. Oh, by the way, speaking of Nuvolet, I will pull for Risley in the future when it came out two days after. <laughs> On Wednesday, I think it was coming out. So I'll be pulling for Nuvolet, uh, Risley. Definitely. <laughs> it's far. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Just saying. Just a heads up that I'll pulling for him. I don't need to fight those. Although, I do need to collect these. I'm not going to fight for the raw uh, thing. Let me grab the crap. Wait a second. <laughs> what? They added a new place, huh? Uh, you mean Fontaine? I like Fontaine so far. I do. Although they probably add more places in the future, so... Fontaine is much better than Sumeru, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god. Like, Fontaine, I could get easy 100% exploration. Easy. And Sumeru, no. Nada. So... By that logic, I think Fontaine, yeah. Fontaine is much Sorry. better. Right. Sorry. 
after Frontline? Natlin? The new country? Or... What? This way. Excuse me. Right over there, next to the water. That's where I saw it. Oh. It was a little foggy at the time, so I didn't get a clear look. Uh, the view from here is great, but there's kind of a gloomy atmosphere around here. Is this the kind of place you like to take a walk? I wasn't taking a walk. I come here to train. Train? Like how knights train for combat? What do you think they will add a um, new one? What do you mean? I'll, I'll open them up afterward. Um, just anywhere. afterward. My training I'll be quick. Practicing techniques for the exorcism of evil spirits. Exorcism? I've always wanted to demonstrate the power of exorcism, but it's a pity. I've never actually gotten the chance. Chang Yun is one in a million. He has pure Yang spirit, so as soon as he gets close, evil. Huh? Isn't that a good thing? It's awful. Have you ever heard of an exorcist that's never seen an evil spirit? <laughs> a lot of people think I'm a fraud because of this condition of mine. Your physical constitution is far rarer Ooh, than the techniques still passed down by exorcists today. You should treasure it. Conqueror of demons. Is that a friend of yours? Yes, indeed. Yes, this is Xiao, an adeptus of Lele. An adeptus? Wow, I've never seen one of those before. Uh, hello, Mr. Adeptus. Oh, Just I call love me Xiao. Aww. So, are you here to train too? Are you out for an inspiration walk? When I heard about the exorcist's encounter, <gasps> my suspicions were aroused. Right in front of you. That's why I'm here. I've already informed the owner of the inn. If you see anything out of the ordinary, return immediately and leave it to me. I... Uh, oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to drag even the Conqueror of Demons into this. I have already patrolled the area and found nothing amiss. Either the anomaly you encountered was no evil spirit, or perhaps it already left. I guess that means we came all this way for nothing. If there's no other business, I'll be taking my leave now. Wait. Mm. Yeah, you should come. There's no one else around here anyway, so you don't need to worry. But I would also be honored if you joined us, Adeptus Xiao. It is a rare opportunity, and I have many questions about exercising evil spirits that I would like. <sighs> Indeed. Please join us, join us, join us. Fine. Aw. Seems like this Adeptus is pretty shy. Or maybe all the Adepti in Liyue are like this. Team Changyun has a new member! Yes! Wh what? When did this become my team? Now that Adeptus Xiao is joining us, if anyone's team leader, it should be... Don't overthink it! Uh, Gaiuna, didn't you say you what wanted to that thing over there? I, 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 have I yeah, been here before? I don't get to come to Liyue very often, so I want to gather some new ingredients while I'm... I've heard that Liyue's Jueyun chilies can set your throat on fire. Is that true? <laughs> oh no, another shuttling. <laughs> give it a try. <laughs> uh-huh. Jueyun chilies. Um, I'm not sure that would taste very good. Really? Perfect! Let's go pick a whole... What the... Yeah, okay, so let me open a map. There we go. Um, so. Map. So. Um, Fontaine is here. Alright. I'm, I'm not sure if you're asking for, like, a new area for Fontaine or the Natlin country, right? I'm not so sure about that yet. So. I know that I, I don't think we'll get a map update. Uh, probably will. Getting a map update on 3.2? I don't think so. Probably they will. Um, and then... during Because the thing is with new areas of Fontaine is that there is one more thing here that's bothering me, and that's the tower. I think we'll open that up kind of here-ish. I think... And then there is 
a long time saying of Chunyun Village, gonna be this area. So that will be connecting to Fontaine. I don't know if Mon any air any area of Monstap will lead to Fontaine as well. So. Um, so th I, I don't know if 3.2, they I mean, they probably will add a place in 3.2. Just add an extra place. In because there's a tower here that we still haven't f understand anything about yet. Wait a second. What the hell? Wait here. Teleport. There is a tower here that we have to open it in the future. Because we haven't seen anything about it yet. So that will probably be our next area. Let's see. Mm, can I see it here? Uh, wait a minute. Just wait. Uh, let's see here. I know it goes to the highest point. Wait a second. This way. Just wait. Ah, that place. See? We haven't opened that part yet. Let me go to a higher place. So I'm pretty sure we ha we will open that place up. It's getting more and more detailed this time. Last time it wasn't that it wasn't that detailed. So let's see. How could I face it? There we go. So we will open this area up. It's probably it's about what I see. So we probably will open this area up in the future. Um, which makes sense. I think it will be the next patch. I don't know. It's it's depending on the game. We never know. But during the um, let's see what is it? I believe it's 3.4. Oh, 4.3. I'm so sorry. Uh, 4.3, which is the moon chase after all. Uh, no. Lantern, right. Yes, the lantern, right, which is Chinese New Year. They would definitely open a new area in here, which is the Chen Yun Village. They would definitely open this up because the Chen Yun Village have been hiding from us for years. And I think 4.3 would be a good opportunity to do that, or at least during the lantern, right? It would be a good opportunity uh, opportunity to open up a new map or event um or it will be the um previous one the the patch before the lantern right I think that would be also be a good good idea to do that so it's probably around lantern right or like around Chinese New Year so probably that would be four point three four point two or four point three it depends on that so four point two definitely open up this the 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 tower we have seen. That towel. We, we definitely will open that up. Because the model is getting better, I think. The last time there's more fog around it. This time is not. And I think we'll get a better look for it. I don't know. Probably will. Um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go over here and fly. So, yeah... As for that one, we don't have much info on that one, actually. We don't. Oh, the weather's terrible. Yes, indeed. This way. Just wait. I am going to flew over there, if possible. Let's see. Uh, where was it? This thing. It's over. Could I make it? Could I make it? I don't know if I make it. Wait a second. No. I can make it, right? I can make it. Oh my god. That was so close. I didn't make it. Sure thing. I didn't make it. <laughs> uh. 
Well, I don't remember this place, actually. I don't. Where is this? Wait a second. I don't remember this place. Wait a second. I really don't. Oh, uh, let's see. Come on. I think I've been through here, but like I don't remember this place at all. Like I don't. I genuinely don't. Oh. Where is this? I, I don't remember this place. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't remember it. <laughs> Where is this? Uh, is this new? I don't think so. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the event. I, I don't remember that place at all. Like, I don't. Okay. Right over there, next to the water. Wait, uh, the why do I have to redo it? Um, New that basically overpower. I've always wanted to yeah, yeah, no, I don't think so. Yes. Huh? Easter, Kai, how are ya? They didn't believe in us. What? I need a... Why, why, oh, I don't know. Why do I, why do I have to replay this? Wait a second. Did I exit the place that I had to redo it? No. So, are you here to train too? When I heard about the exorcist encounter, okay, let's, I've let's already informed skip. the owner of I, because I played this before. I, I don't understand it. The area and found no I guess that means we came all this way for nothing. If there's no other business, I'll be taking my leave now. Mm. Yeah, you Wait, should get come. It. There's no one else anyway, so you don't need to But I would also be honored if you joined us, Adepta. <sighs> Fine. Seems like this adept Ching Chong Yun is a new member! Wh what? Don't overthink, yeah! I I've heard that Li Wei. Uh huh. Um. Really? What the. Okay. That's that. Uh, I don't understand why I'd have to redo it. As like, I don't. Li Yun chilies, I also need some slime condensate or loach pearls. Are those really fit for human consumption? Nope. This is starting to sound like something Sean Lee would make. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait, wait. I could use all of them. Level 88. Okay. Huh, I'm here. Yes. Wait, why do I have to redo it? Wait a second. What? What's going on? Oh, I have to stay within the circle, isn't it? Okay. Sure. I see. Right over there, next to the Wait. water. That's where. I uh, the view from here. I wasn't taking a walk. Train. Um, it's exorcist. I've always wanted to demonstrate. Okay, it's one in a million. He has pure. Huh? Isn't that a good? It's awful. Your physical Wait. constitution is far rarer than the technique still past conqueror of demons. Let me get some is water. That Wait a, a second. Of yours? Yep. Yes, it's indeed. Uh, hello. Mm. Just call me Shao. So, are you here to train too? Are we you get out some for water. an inspiration walk? I think I said when that like three times, the isn't it? Encounter, there we go. My suspicions were roused. Th I've already informed the owner. I, uh, I have already patrolled the area and found nothing. I guess that means we came all this way for nothing. If there's no other business, I'll be taking my leave now. Mm. Yeah, you should. But. I would also be honored if you joined us, Adeptus. Okay. <sighs> Finally, we're almost at the end of it. Fine. Seems like this Adept Ching Chong Yun is a new member! Yes! Wh what? Don't overthink it! Yeah, I don't get. To... I've heard that Liu. Uh huh. Um. Really? What? Okay. As well as Dwei Yun Chili's. I also need some slime condensate or loach pearls. Are those really fit for human consumption? This is starting to sound like something Sean Lee would make. Uh, where, where was everything? Wait a second, I don't want to redo it. 
Um, ah, here, finally. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. Talk with Diona. Diona. Okay. This should be enough. Diona, you seem really committed to, uh, making alcoholic drink. What? No, never. I hate alcohol. <laughs> when grown-ups drink too much, they get that stupid drunk look on their faces, can't speak clearly, and don't even respond properly. Sometimes, they just sleep on the floor all night. Alcohol is the root of all kinds of evil. So, I'm on a mission to mix the most disgusting drink in the whole world and show everyone just how awful alcohol really is. Nothing can stand in my way. Oh, and my God. coming out to Liyue every day to pick fresh Dreyun chilies then so be it. Hm. Um, is it really worth all that effort? Uh, yeah, because all my previous efforts have failed. Those stinking booze hounds not only haven't woken up to the truth of how bad alcohol is, they even keep raising my drinks. It makes me furious! But, uh, how is that possible? If this is the kind of stuff you're throwing into their drinks, it must taste absolutely vile. Sure. <sighs> Are you calling me a liar? Well, if you don't believe me, I'll fix you a drink right now. Then you Oh, I just realized Diana's <gasps> outfit no, is no, really... Huh, just you wait. Has so many fl uh, floral pattern she into really it. going to add those Juyun chilies? If her claims are true, perhaps she too possesses a unique constitution of some kind. Oh. I don't see how it could have anything to do with her. Unless... She's under the influence of some kind of power? Maybe an evil spirit? No. I sense no trace of the demonic in her. Although there are traces of something else. In Liyue, we might say this child has adeptal affinity. Oh. Ooh, Venti may get, right? <laughs> Ready. Here, I made one for Xiao too. Uh, nope. Oh, no thanks. Boy. Look at that color. Yep. She definitely added Juju and chilies. What's wrong? You're not allergic to anything, are you? Not no, really. Worry. There isn't even any alcohol in it. It's a slime condensate base with a seasoning of Juyun chilies and finished with frog legs. Oh my god. Surely there's no way this can possibly taste good. Oh. Uh Shout down it in a single gulp. Oh. It was absolutely good. Onion drink is too. Uh, is he gonna be okay? This drink is delicious. Oh my god. It does have a touch of Juyun chili, but it isn't at all overpowering. It's completely different from Shangling's cooking or those drinks Singcho makes to mess with me. It's crisp and refreshing, with just a hint of numbness, and the Ju Yun chili flavor combines with the smooth but not slimy texture of the frog legs to form a heavenly mixture. And oh, the slimes. Can we talk about the slimes? Before this, I never knew that they had such a pure and herby taste, like fresh grass after the rain. The power and oh my God. of nature distilled into a cup. Amazing. Simply unbelievable. That's right. Slimes are absolutely sublime. Oh, I failed again! <sighs> but wait, what's gotten into Chong Yun? He's been so quiet up until now. I'm great, and I gotta try another. Diona, if you please, one more. What's going on? I... Uh, oh, oh. Okay, I think I've calmed down a bit. I'm sorry. I can't believe I let you all see me like that. Oh, because it's the fine. chili. My fault for not checking your spice tolerance first. Oh, looks like this Kuryang spirit isn't such a great thing to have after all. Actually, before I drank it, I very much doubted what you said about your drinks. Uh. Uh. Huh, who'd have thought it? Diana and Chongyun are actually kind of similar. Mm hmm? 
Shell? What's wrong? Look over there. Hmm? You mean the leaf? Something's written on it. What? You can see that from over here? Oh, yeah. Pick it up. I don't get swept away. I might have to run to the bathroom after this. I'm so sorry. There's a poem written on it. The Conqueror of Demons has truly amazing vision. Repimency! Oh. I need to run to the bathroom, okay? Just wait. Yeah, Diana's cursed, definitely. I ju just give me a few minutes and I'll, I'll, I'll run to the bathroom, okay? I'll be quick. All righty, I'm back. Okay. I think this is the ocean I in. Hmm. It sounds like the author is writing about the first time they met their true love. Although the following lines suggest that they didn't end up together. Yeah. I write a poem on a fallen leaf. The flowing waters are ruthless. They carry the leaves away with the current. This poem would likely have vanished into the void had we not found it. It makes no sense to me. That's true. I've heard Singcho say something similar before. Uh-huh. When there's things that you're unable to say, or just never had the chance to say before it was too late, if it can be put on paper, it can be expressed as poetry. Is it kind of like wishing at a fountain? I used to do that sometimes when I was little. I'm just wondering about this. Diona and um, Lynette also have cat ears. Could it possible that like Diona's or, like ancestry is actually come from Fontaine? So that means that our mystery poet was probably hoping that someone would read it, right? You think? Then should we write a poem in reply? But we don't know who wrote it. How can we reply? Why not go upstream? Upstream? Why? 
right. The ink looks fresh. It can't have been written too long ago. Mm hmm This withered leaf floated down with the current. If we travel further upstream and drop a leaf into the same waters, it should be carried down past the original writer. Cool. Oh, okay. Oh, this Smart. Is so romantic. Communicating with a mystery person using poems on fallen leaves. But how do we make sure that they'll receive it? We can write extra copies and drop the leaves in different places. As they say, where there's a will, there's a way. Surely it's either way, it's our only option. Then let's make like a tree and head Okay, I'll just skip it. There we go. Because I, I, the thing is that the reason why I make that assumption is that Lynette's cat ear is also a genetic mutation that he, she had because Lenny doesn't have it, right? So the same thing goes through that to Diona's family. Diona's father has cat ear but doesn't have cat tails. So it was also a, like a oh, wait a second let me let me let me wait for the stanima. Just wait. Or I could use okay. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. No worry. Okay. I don't know what's a four though. I have no idea. <laughs> but I just want to collect everything. <laughs> right. Oh my god, this is far away. This is farther than I thought. Really? Genshin collections. Indeed, indeed, indeed. That was a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Nouvellet. Oh my god, this is a long. Why not? I need them anyway. Bow your head. There we go. That's done. Uh, sure thing. Okay. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, okay. I, I was like, where am I? There we go. Finally, we found it. Oh. oh. Can I? Can I? You can die now, finally. Thank you. Give me the meat. Lower grounds. Okay. Cool. Upstream, upstream, up we go. Oh, did you think of what to write yet? Ah, okay. Whoa! I like the little dragon statue that it has. It's really, really cute. What's wrong, Xiao? Things you never had the chance to say before it was too late. When silence is the final word, we mourn the loss of things unheard. I have little talent for, nor knowledge of poetry. Oh God, Jesus Christ! We like we are having this it, like moment with Xiao again, like. <laughs> Life is but a dream. 
Oh. We should probably pick up the pace. We still have a few more leaves to set afloat, and we need to get back before it gets dark. Okay, let's go! Uh -huh. Okay, we're what having some. You two having a private chat? No, it's nothing. I just hope this isn't all in vain. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, we're gonna see other people's perspective. That's cool. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay. The scenery here is quite beautiful. Let's pause here to seek some inspiration. Should we set up camp? Oh, please wait a moment. I'll pitch the tent. It's an inspiration walk. There's no need for all that. Okay. Well, I'll conduct reconnaissance nearby <laughs> to ensure this area is safe and see. Wait, reconnaissance? It means survey the environment and plan a route forward. It's the foundation of all operations while out in the wild. Are all inspiration walks in Mondstadt this complicated? <laughs> Seems so doubting himself. Is completely normal. Am I the weirdo here? In that case, I'll conduct reconnaissance with Mika. Uh huh. Oh, that's okay, that. Then. That's the uh, photo oh, that's coming from. I have to try. Very well. Then leave the camp to me. Oh my God, that's so cute of them. So, Sing Cho, uh, do, do you, oh, I play um, as Noel. I play as go on inspiration walks often, or, or, uh... I do. I always get bored when I'm cooped up at home, so I head out for a stroll. Life gets busy. You have to steal a moment of leisure when you can. Cool. Uh, oh, over there, firewood. Where? Where is the firewood? Wait a second, what? Where was it? Oh, there, okay. That's a bit slow, but that's okay. I don't want to fight, though. Wait a second. What weapon are you using? Oh, okay. Why is it not able to do it double? Okay. Now's our chance. Let me leave you a verse. I mean, fight this first. Time to act. Body and mind. The shinko right no, now. Okay. That was weird. Okay. Now to collect food. Aha. With this wood and the food I brought along, we can definitely put together a decent lunch. You've got quite a knack at wilderness survival. Thanks. I... I was on an expedition with the Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius for a while, not too long ago. I was in charge of surveying and mapping. Oh? You sound like a character from an adventure novel. Charging across the world, sword in hand. What? Uh... No, I'm no. Anyway, speaking, I'm not a really big fan of Mika's design. Like I don't. If I really run into a powerful enemy, I always leave it for someone stronger to deal with. You're too modest, Mika. A hero is measured not by the blood on his sword, but by what's in his heart. As long as a righteous heart that yearns to aid others beats within your chest, no matter where you go or what you have achieved, you may be called a hero. That all sounded pretty profound. Oh, I've never even thought about any of that before. Aww. Hello. Are you okay? Maybe we should return. Lest Noel be forced to wait on us. Oh, uh, sure. That's cute. We have to go back. Okay. Oh, 
chance. Oh, he flowed. Okay. Oh, there's a tent. There's really a tent. Oh my. But you're back. Did everything go smoothly? Do you need a cloth to wipe the sweat from your brow? No need, thanks. All clear. There's no danger in the vicinity. Oh my, they're effective. Noel, your cooking is amazing. Ow, my liquor is Every so bad. Every single today. dish is so tasty. Oh From all the Truly walking that I've done yesterday, oh my. I never imagined it was possible to enjoy such a satisfying meal in the great outdoors. Really? Then what do you usually eat when you're out on an inspiration walk? Oh, nothing. Well, since I usually sneak out from home, I just grab some dried snacks to take with me. Add in whatever fruit I pick along the way, and that's my lunch. By sneaking out, you mean running away from home? That's right. Or sometimes I'll tell a cover story like, I'm going out to take care of business. But if you get caught, won't you get disciplined? No, <laughs> I don't think so. So just don't get caught. Huh. Sounds like uh, Shenhe just eating whatever. Yeah. Come up while you were out scouting. Well, Xing Chou and I talked about what it means to be a hero. Now that uh. I think about it, by Xing Chou's definition, you should be considered a hero too, Noel. Huh? Everyone could be a hero really? in their heart. Um, You're always happy to help everyone in the nice uh, But the thing is, um, Xingqiu has Xingqiu's pretty wealthy. Xingqiu's from a wealthy monsters. family, so I think oh, remember that like time he could just bring dry food with them. You cut it in two with a single blow. Oh, sounds like she has both a heroic spirit and incredible martial prowess. Don't, oh, please don't praise me like that. We should talk about what we came here to do. Finding inspiration. Miss mm -hmm. Hutao said something about pocketing our poetic thoughts. Mm. But so far, all we've done is gather some firewood and cook lunch. Mm. I have no idea what to write. You can write about anything. Looking at Core Lapis, one can't help but wonder if one's own heart is as bright ah, and clear my God, as my Jade. God. Oh my god. Observing silk, I like so holding me here today. One pauses to consider whether it ever feels the sadness and sorrow that humans do. So we have to connect our internal world with the external one. Exactly. Yeah. But that's just one of many possible methods. Perhaps you might gaze out at the bridge in the distance and see a woman leaning. See, on the railing, that's the girl I'm talking about. Her heart is laden by sorrows that even the rushing waters below cannot. I get away. excited now. Oh. Hey. Wait. I saw her at the gala yesterday. She wrote one of the riddles we answered. Why don't we go say hi? Sure. We should. Before that. Where, where's the bridge? Where's the stupid bridge? See? She is blue. Did you see that? She is an ocean aid. See? She is blue. See that? Oh my, yes. I was right. She is an ocean aid. Oh my, see that? See that? That she is blue. I'm so excited. Hello, ma'am. How fortuitous it is that we meet again. Uh, hello. Are you here on your inspiration walk, too? Yes. Allow me to introduce ourselves. I am Xingqiu, and this is Noel and Mika. Thank you for accepting our answer to your riddle yesterday. Oh, don't mention it. It's all in good fun. I'm Kelly Yeah, her eyes is glowing. So, Miss Kelly Roy, are Kelly you Roy, that's a weird name. That's right. I was traveling in the area and just happened to see there was a poetry event being held at Stone Gate. It looked fun, so I thought I'd drop in. Your riddle yesterday made quite an impression on me. It was uniquely evocative. Have you studied Liwe poetry before? I haven't, actually. I've just picked up a few things here and there from chatting with people throughout my travels. 
Amazing. Mm. So you're a natural poet. We noticed you standing on the bridge from quite some distance away. Are you drawing poetic inspiration from the flowing current beneath your... <laughs> I haven't finished my poem yet. The water here was just so peaceful and calming. Uh -huh. I stopped for a moment and lost myself in admiring it. Well, since we're all here, why not head back with us to the venue for tonight's festivities? It's getting late after all. Huh? Are, are you sure? Yes, of course. I want to know more about you. I'd personally like to hear Miss Callie Rowe's couplet. I'm sure I can learn s <laughs> Well, if you're all in agreement, I've got no reason not to join you. I want to know what she's up to. Really? I want to. What's going on, Ocean 8? Ah, Venti is here. The others have yet to return? <laughs> Come on! Let's hurry! <sighs> we... Oh, oh, we're not too late. Just how far did you all go? <laughs> Everyone catch your breath. Come on, deep breaths. One... Two... Now, don't panic. The party hasn't started yet. <sighs> we made it! Oh, Paimon's exhausted. Paimon gets tired if she has to fly too fast. Oh, not to mention dropping all those leaves. Paimon's hands are cramping up. Oh. Sounds like someone needs to exercise more. Exe huh? uh, that's me. You guys picked up a new teammate while you were out? Indeed. This is Kelly Roe. I believe you'll remember her from yesterday, though you weren't introduced. Hi, everyone. But you're not the only ones who's called in reinforcements. <laughs> Look who we got! Xiao is gone. Xiao? Where'd he go? Xiao, come on out! <laughs> Xiao's here. <clears throat> now that we've all regrouped, let's... Huh. Scratch that. Looks like we're still waiting on my co-host. <laughs> They say roosters crow at first light, and finches go to bed at night. But Charles has no need for me. Yes. Anytime, anywhere, she'll answer your call. Um, are the theatrics really necessary? We're already on day two of the festival. The opening ceremony is over. <laughs> but my dear, dear Paimon, it seems you Ooh, are who could it be? That was not for my own sake, but for a special guest who's joining us today. <laughs> Director Hu's manner Jong Lee! It's Jong it Lee! Yay! Oh boy! Now this is a surprise! Wendy? Mr. Zhong Lee, I hope you are well. Sing Cho, what can you tell me about Mr. Zhong Lee? He seems like somebody very important. Yes, yes, indeed. He's held in very high regard in Liyue Harbor. He's extremely erudite in many different domains of knowledge. Allow me to introduce you all to Zhang Li, a consultant at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have two archons here. His expertise is limitless, stretching from the celestial orbs to the terrestrial ores, spanning modern and ancient culture, delving into literature both prosaic and poetic. Wendy. He may be my subordinate, but he is certainly a qualified poetry expert, and so um, we have did I spoil him anything? <laughs> The director exaggerates. I am but vaguely acquainted with a few lines oh, of Oh, wait, wait, poetry. wait, wait. Oh, Since yeah, you if you haven't played the 3.4 event, Venti and Jolie meet. <laughs> they had a meal <laughs> together. <laughs> so they I definitely know, know each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they are the Nervous. oldest Archon. They definitely Just know. Please rest assured that I shall So, yeah, I hope I didn't spoil anything. Director. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do a quick count. One, two. Four. Great! Equal numbers on both sides. Huh? Are you counting me too? Okay, fine. But consider this a favor. Hmm, with our Fontaine friend present, perhaps we should rename this event to the Three Nations Congenial Poetry Gala. Also, I'm just noticing that Paimon should only count as a half teammate at most. Oh. Mm -hmm. That kind of puts T 
team traveler at a bit of a disadvantage. That's well, fine. This? I'll join in as well. Director Hotel, here to help out in your hour of greatest need. What does everyone think? Naturally, the more the merrier. Being the host of the festival shouldn't stop you from having the chance to enjoy it like the rest of us. Then it's settled. Everyone else in the audience, feel free to join in oh my God. and support your favorite team. What about me? Shall I keep track of the score? No sure. need for that. The teams are just a formality. We're all friends here, and this isn't intended to be competitive. But what do you think, Judge Zhongli? Oh, I concur, <laughs> Director. Moreover. <laughs> It would be disingenuous to impose upon our friends from Mondstadt and Fontaine. I Jolie's eyes is really fun. How rigorously they can adhere to Leo poetic conventions. Mm -hmm. Since this is a congenial poetry gala, should we not begin with inspiration and finish with friendly conversation? The aim being for all participants to enjoy themselves. Oh, <sighs> that's a relief. I was so nervous about this. But it sounds like it's going to be pretty relaxed. Couldn't have asked for a better judge. Zhongli said everything I was supposed to say only far more eloquently. So, without further ado, I shall pass the baton to Venti. No problem. Oh my. Friends old and new, put on your thinking caps and take a deep breath of fresh air. The second stage of our poetry gala will now commence. Matching couplets. Yay, okay. Perhaps I could break the ice with a humble contribution to inspire others to share their brilliance. Please listen to the first line in the couplet. <clears throat> Lounging in luxury inside a Shinue kiosk booth, delighting in countless contemporary tastes. Okay. What? to think of one already? Oh, he seems like a real expert at this. Hmm. Shinue, Shinue kiosk. Contemporary tastes? Hmm. I guess I should pair the modernity of their VIP dining experience with an emblem of the past. Ah! Oh, maybe where I was training that one time. That was quite ancient. The weather was terrible that day. The okay, translation is different. Something. Surrounded by history, outside a Tianghong Pass pavilion, as lightning sets the boundless tenebrous skies ablaze. Mm. Wow, Chaoyun completed the couplet! Hmm. Xinyue Kiosk is a renowned modern restaurant, while the mountain pass of Tianhong is a prominent historical landmark. Mm -hmm. These two iconic locations form a complementary pair. The okay, imagery okay. also contrasts rather well between the two halves of the couplet. One half describing a leisurely and comfortable indoor scene, the other portraying a hazardous outdoor scenario where there is no protection from the elements. Huh? I was just describing what I experienced that day. <laughs> I guess I just got lucky. All right then. I guess I'll start the next couplet. Mind pines for Mingyun. Flesh confined to Qingse. Spirit striding high on Zhu Yun's clouds. Oh, Chang Yun, you dark horse. Looks like you came to play today. This conjures the image of one with lofty aspirations, whose life is limited to a small town, but who awaits the opportunity to one day ascend above the clouds. The use of various locations for their symbolism is quite novel indeed. Oh! Soul shines like jade stone, dressed in finest silkware, lucent heart still beats within me now. Wow, how did Noel do that? A superb line. It employs the metaphor of precious stone to describe one of noble and moral character with a pure and clear heart. The symbolism in this case is centered around objects, truly the work of a skilled poet. That was a commendable couplet. All thanks to your guidance while we were out on our inspiration walk. I'd like to start the next couplet. Up into the misty karst, down among the grassy marsh, all for lotus seed and bird egg soup. Lotus seed and bird egg soup? What is it, Diona? Did you think of a second line for the couplet? No. Everyone's poems are so complicated. 
I need more time just to understand them. But when I heard lotus seed and bird egg soup, it made me think of berry and mint first. Maybe because I mixed a similar drink recently. <laughs> North beyond the Starfell Lake, south across the windswept plains, just for berry squeezed and mint infused. No wonder everyone praises the traveler so highly. You answered so quickly. Both halves of this couplet require intimate knowledge of the terrain in question and the local plants that may be found there. The two of you are clearly both seasoned travelers. Does this mean I helped? Yes, sir! Hey now, Zhongli. Don't just praise everything you hear. You should question and press them a bit. Don't worry about upsetting anyone. After all, I'm here to take the heat. Then allow me to try another. Qingxin has no heart. Still, it soothes the human heart. Is she talking about the medicinal effects of Qingxin? Hmm. This is a hard one to match. Sweet dream is no dream, yet it nurtures people's dreams. Sweet dream... Does that really match? Hmm... Since the suitability of the match has been queried, I shall act according to the director's wishes and ask you, what is the link between Sweet Dream and Qingxin? <laughs> uh. Oh, you mean eating a delicious dessert before bed will make you sleep well, right? <gasps> You're amazing! <laughs> then I agree. The two halves of the couplet match. This point is well deserved. Points for me, points for thee. This judge gives out points for free. But if you ask me, everyone's being a little too conventional so far. Let's push the envelope a little. Go nuts! Oh? In that case, why don't you finish this one for me, Hu Tao? Round moon in the heavens, full moon at night. Celebrate with circle of friends. Hmm. Oh, square meals in the basement. Big bowls of rice decorate with cuboids of meat. Huh? W what the? Ah, we have ourselves a pedant's couplet. The two halves have no thematic connection, yet each word has its perfect parallel, meaning the two halves do form a cohesive whole. The strict pairings make this no easier to achieve than a thematically coherent couplet. Blah, 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 blah. So verbose. Zhongli, just tell me if I got a point or not. Of course you did. I presumed it went without saying. Ahem. Through Cheongji, I walked a hundred miles. At Guili, I ended my march. In Dihua, the silver grass grows in two styles, but horsetails don't trot out the marsh. From vendors, I bought some 15 steaks. At dinner, I sizzled the lots. At pressure, the tenderloin cooks in two ticks, but 15 won't fit in the pot. Huh? So that's a pedant's couplet. Pana thinks she can do that too. I thought of one. Wolf hooks can't hook bear and bunny. Aw, that's a cute couplet. Sweet flowers can't out sweet sister Barbara. Huh? <laughs> now, that's the passion we like to see. Although, unfortunately, your response was technically one word too long. Hmm. In that case, whopper flowers can't whop jumpy jumpy. Oh, this monster's got talents. <sighs> I'm so relieved. I at least managed to get one. Hmm. Nestling by a roaring fire, scent of tea wafts from the stove, reading through the heart of clear springs. 
<sighs> wow, Noelle came up with another one! Come on, match the cup whip. Paimon knows you can do it. Uh, do you really think Paimon has what it takes? Give it a whirl. Nestling by a roaring fire, scent of tea wafts from the stove, reading through the heart of clear springs. Hmm. Uh, seething in the pouring rain, sword of pain swipes at my foe, beating up the eye of the storm. What? Really? Yes, very good. The image of challenging powerful foes in the harshest of conditions seemed to manifest before my eyes, and it was perfectly juxtaposed against the atmosphere of leisurely reading with a cup of freshly brewed tea. R really? <laughs> Maybe Paimon has a knack for this after all. <laughs> it appears that my services as a judge are no longer needed. was so much fun. You were amazing today, Noelle. You had so many couplets. Paimon especially liked your one about reading Heart of Clear Springs. Paimon never could have thought of that. <sighs> Miss Kelly Roy, are you okay? You look like you're getting tired. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Although, I do have a question I'd like to ask. Have all of you read Heart of Clear Springs? I haven't actually read it. My dad told me this story once. It's about a spring fairy and a young boy. Oh, yes. The story of a spring fairy who left her homeland and met a boy under the moonlight in a faraway land. The boy poured out his heart to her, and she listened to his stories. Over time, the boy grew up and began to develop feelings for the Spring Fairy. But the Spring Fairy didn't understand human love and was afraid that making a promise to him would ultimately end in tragedy. And so, um, mm, I don't know if Diana's father mentioned the part about the kiss to her. In the end, the Spring Fairy left the boy. And was never heard from again. Oh, yes, that's it. Many years went by, and the boy became an old man. But he never stopped believing that the fairy was real, and not just a dream. Sounds like a tragic tale. So, what do you guys think of the spring fairy in the story? I'm sure she made her decision with the best of intentions. But the boy couldn't hope to understand why she left. It's a shame that the misunderstanding never got cleared up. Well, do you think she should go back and see that boy again? If she ever had another chance? Now? But isn't he an old man by the end of the story? Hmm. Isn't it a bit late? What if it just led to more regrets? Oh, sorry. No. Oh, maybe I'm being too pessimistic. If Paimon was that boy... Hmm. Actually, Paimon would definitely want to see the Spring Fairy again, no matter how old Paimon got. After all, she's the love of his life, right? I see. Oh? <laughs> Looks like the party's still going strong over here. Are you coming up with more couplets? Need my help? Stick to hosting, Tone Deaf Bard. If you get involved, you only match every couplet yourself and not leave any for the rest of us. <laughs> I never knew you had such a high opinion of my abilities, Paimon. But the couplet games are all over now. Tomorrow's theme is freestyle poetry. Do we have to share our own poems with everyone? 
That's right. If you're not feeling confident, don't worry. It's never too late to register for Venti's Poetry Cram class. I'll sign up. Oh, me too. Hold on there, Buster. Before you start peddling your classes, just how much freedom is there with this freestyle poetry exactly? Aren't there any requirements at all? It's as free as the winds that blow. And there's nothing freer. There are no limits to genre, form, content, or anything else. So long as it comes from the heart, you're welcome to put it into poetry. Give it a try. There's no better chance to express your innermost thoughts. Whoa. That's almost too much freedom. Lyman can't decide which way to go. Our travels? Or maybe all the food that the travelers cooked for Paimon. Will you come too, Kelly Roy? Paimon wants to see what you write. Oh, um, yes. I'll be there. Ugh. Ugh, my nose is starting to itch again. All right, I shall leave you to privately ponder your poems and bid you all good night. See you tomorrow. Ask. Thank you for complete. Add Astra at.
can't sleep? Uh, let's go for a walk then. Perhaps we could take a walk by a riverbank or somewhere similarly fluvial. There are still so many places for us to explore. <sighs> Don't tell me they did it again.
suffocate. Settle down. The night is cold. Have silence. A bond is strong. This realm is true. If you ever have... Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. Mondstadt's water is crisp and pure, while water from Liyue has an enduring aftertaste. Staying silent is beneficial for maintaining focus and gathering intelligence. Once, a VIP audience member at our show took out a handkerchief that didn't belong to his wife. As for how such information is used, now, that depends on what father wants. I'm... Not accustomed to expressing myself, but I consider myself a good listener. If you have any troubles, come find me. I'll guard your secrets. I prefer to use my eyes to understand the situation and find an appropriate solution, as opposed to using martial prowess. But having brute force as an option greatly increases the potential cards at your disposal, and enables you to protect those most important to you in a crisis. I have always been together with Linny, and we can tell what the other is thinking without speaking. Thus, he tends to be more quiet than normal when we are alone. Hmm? <clears throat> oh. Can I tell when he's lying or telling the truth? Of course I can. But this matter is top secret. Hmm. <clears throat> he is a delicate and gentle child. But also tends to belittle himself. Hmm, perhaps due to his previous experiences. Sometimes he feels like the antithesis of Lenny. But since they're both family, when their opinions clash, I will bridge their differences. Oh. How father expresses love. Well, not everyone can accept it. But it is only because of father that home can be called home. The Chief Justice always feels strangely aloof, 
Though his words are always humble. Or perhaps he just doesn't like dealing with humans? After all, when he speaks with Melusines, he's actually quite friendly. Lady Farina's behavior is incredibly hard to explain, and I can't discern any useful intelligence from observing her. I always feel like her every move and action is an act, and she is playing different people. She truly is an Archon. One cannot apply the logic of ordinary humans to her. Though she's the new president of Spina di Rosula, her style is more like the nosy big sister next door. If we really had a sister like her in the House of the Hearth, that would be really great. I know I probably shouldn't be wishing for anyone to be an orphan, but... I was once ordered to observe a duel of hers. Even just as a bystander, the coldness radiating from her was absolutely chilling. I don't know what it would be like to face her directly in a duel, and I hope I will never find out. I was once the costumes Linny and I wear for performances were specially tailored by Chiori. Once, Linny was using a small knife for a magic trick, and accidentally cut the cuff of his sleeve a bit. She scolded us non-stop. It was scary. Luckily, I can hide behind Linny whenever we go to her shop. Uh, I was eventually cornered by her for interviews a few times. The way she persistently asked, even after Linny rejected her all those times. I really have to commend her perseverance. Too bad for her, though. Despite preparing all those questions, I never answered a single one. Her perfume products are so popular that you have to get in line before the break of dawn to have a chance at snapping any up. However, I'm far too sensitive to the smell of perfume, and it's really rude to sneeze. So, I have to take the long way around. Water comes in many flavors to the Magic shows were once our livelihood, but now they are more of a convenient identity to present to society. In the name of magic performances, we can easily gain more access throughout the city and be the eyes of our house. Before Linny and I came to our new home, we were constantly adrift on the streets. We experienced many hardships and dangerous situations. No, did I mute it the whole time? Was I muted the whole time? No. Please don't. I'm gonna check. No. <gasps> did, was I muted the whole time? No, that that's not correct. No. <gasps> I did not know that. I'm so sorry. No. If that's the case, I'm so bad. Oh my god. I just check OBS. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Anyway, this will be the end of my stream, unfortunately, because it's late and I do need to get dinner. And yeah, I wish you all have a lovely, lovely day. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, uh, is it is it just for the voice line or like just the whole thing? It's not for the whole thing, right? Because okay, so it's just just during the voice line. Okay, okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh my god, if it's for the whole thing, I'm gonna be surprised. Oh my lord, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just realized my mic was muted. Um, Yeah, anyway, thank you so much all for watching. Um, This will be the end of my stream today. I'm so sorry. Oh, not the whole thing. Oh my god, thankfully, thankfully. Oh my lord. 
Uh, you two have a good night and wish you have a lovely, lovely day tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. So, yeah. I don't know if I would able to stream tomorrow. I'll, I'll see what happens. I'll see what happens. Probably I can because um, one of my classes got canceled, but I don't know about twos. Yeah, I could stream twos. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, it depends on what happened on Monday uh, because I know one of the classes got canceled, but I do need to go practice. So, yeah, wish you all have a lovely, lovely day, and see you all tomorrow, probably. Thank you. Bye.